You're gonna love him. Make some noise. Get excited for Michael Benevento, everybody! <laughs> Michael Benevento. So uh, my family's originally from Brooklyn, and uh, uh, growing up, I came to idolize Tony Manero from the film Saturday Night Fever, and uh, I would try to incorporate his approach to situations in my own life. Take the dinner scene, for example. They're at the table, it's Tony, it's his mom, it's his dad, and Tony takes one too many pork chops for his dad's liking. <laughs> So he says, one pork chop, one! Hey, Frank! This disgusting rat is sick. We, would you just watch the hair? You know, I work on my hair a long time, and you hit it. He hits my hair. So then anytime, you know, my grandmother would come over and be like, oh, hi, Mikey. I'd be like, watch the hair, watch the hair. Then another scene, Tony gets a raise at work. And, you know, he thinks he's done good, so he's going to tell his old man about it. Hey, I got a raise today. <laughs> oh, yeah, how much? $4. It was going to be two fifty, but then Mr. Fusco, he raised the raise when he seen I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> you know what $4 buys today? What? It don't even buy $3. <laughs> Go ahead, piss on it. Don't buy it. I knew you would, you know. You know, a raise is like you're good, you know. You know how many times people told me I was good? Twice, two, two fucking times. This race today and dancing. Dancing at the disco. You sure as fuck never did, asshole. So there I am in Little League, 10 years old. And uh, I just worked out a four pitch walk, you know. So I'm thinking this is great. My dad's gonna commend me for getting on base, you know. So between innings, he's, he comes over and, uh, you know, he leans in. And I'm ready for the words of encouragement. And he says, don't stand there with the fucking bat on your shoulders. <laughs> so I think to myself, well, how would Tony Monero handle this particular situation? <laughs> so I looked him in the eye and I said, fuck you, asshole. That was the last game I played that season. <laughs> I love movies, though. Going to movies, to me, it's like going to church. You know, you get your popcorn and your wine. That's like receiving communion and getting, uh, I'm sorry, popcorn and soda. It's like receiving communion and wine. And then right before I walk into the theater, I take a little shot of that synthetic butter that they have. And I go like this. The name is Scorsese, De Niro, Pacino, Travolta. May the force be with us. <laughs> and just like church, I expect people to show respect. Do not talk during the movie. When I hear somebody talk during the movie, I want to cut their tongue out and stick it up their ass. I don't know where these degenerates were raised, you know? So just like in church, when somebody is speaking during the mass, I lean and I say, excuse me, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, because shh is too polite for these people. Shh is too civil. Instead, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. You know, you get, the, you get the running commentary. Oh, he transformed in midair! <laughs> Thanks for the play-by-play, -play, dipshit, but if I wanted somebody to break down the battle between the robots, I'd have one of those wrestling announcers do it. <laughs> Good God almighty! Optimus Prime just drove his sword rotten to Megatron's heart! <laughs> and then you get the bold predictions. I bet this is when the Titanic sinks. <laughs> well, like Al Pacino says in Heat, well, I am over-fucking-whelmed. 
<laughs> then you get these people who feel compelled to repeat what was just said on screen, you know? It's like, oh, he just said, show me the money, show me the money. Really? <laughs> Is that what he said? Because I didn't catch it the first 15 times that he said it. <laughs> now shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then, you know, you'd be sitting there, you're into the movie, you're enjoying it. Stadium seating, of course. <laughs> and uh, you're sitting there, and all of a sudden, it's like... <laughs> that soft white glow starts emanating from people's phones. You know, they can't leave the phone alone for more than 10 minutes at a time. I like to drag them outside, smash the phone over their fucking head, and then waterboard them. I don't know who I hate more, Al-Qaeda or these people. Respect the movie-going experience. If I'm with a girl, she starts trying to go down on me during the movie, no, nah, no. Nah. I go, I fucking paid for you too, you better watch this shit! <laughs> and you know, hopefully the movie is good. You know, otherwise, you know, you're left feeling uh, unfulfilled, you know? <laughs> and in that situation, then I say, how can I rectify this? You know, what can I do to fix this, so? To, and I push my date's head back down and I say, just give me that blowjob, all right? Thank you. <laughs> Michael Benevento, everybody! Michael Benevento! Fantastic.